Good morning. My name is Lilia and today is June 20th, 2018. And we are looking at the intraday chart for the SPX index. And as you can see, the SPX started out at 27.72 and then dropped down and has recovered. And the time right now is approximately 9.39 a.m. Pacific time. And I'm going to be selling a vertical call spread and it's going to be a credit call spread. That means I'm going to be collecting a credit up front and it is a semi bearish trade. So as I'm looking at this intraday chart, I can see that we have a triple top at around 2772, 2773 approximately. So that means that the buyers have not pushed the SPX higher than 2773 so far today. So if I'm placing a bearish trade, I want to sell a call option that is higher than these prices. So I'm going to go out of the money. So let's take a look at what's available. So right now with the SPX at 2772, I want to go out of the money and still collect a decent premium. I mentioned earlier that today is June 20th and I'm going to be selling the June 20th options. So these options are going to be expiring in a few hours. Right now it's about 940 in the morning and these options are going to expire at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So this is the one that I'm going to choose. 2775 gives me a pretty decent premium. And of course, I am not going to be selling naked call options on the SPX. That means I need to buy another option that's out of the money and relatively cheap. As I'm looking at this options chain, I can see that these options in this area are relatively cheap. So I think I'm going to buy this one right here, 2790, and it's going to cost me about $0.05, cents, which is not bad. So while I was talking, the SPX has risen to 2773. Let's take a look at the charts again. Whoa, this is fascinating. Um, so the question is, do I still want to use the 2775 strike? And the answer is yes, because what I see here, this is the new high for today. And I just saw a little red candle right there. So maybe this is it. Okay, so I'm going to place this vertical, change this from single to vertical, and I'm going to be selling the 2775 and 2790 vertical call spread. And I'm going to go ahead and do two of these. So I'm selling two of the 2775 calls and I'm going to buy two of the 2790 calls 
and that gives me a credit of between 215 and 225. 215, oops, it just shifted. Uh, 225 is the market price. So I'm going to change this to market because I want this to fill. And that looks like a good premium. 225 times 2 times 100. That's going to be my initial credit. So let's place this trade. Okay, so it just filled at $2.34. And let's go back to the monitor tab and see what we have here. So this is a vertical call spread. I'm selling an out of the money option and I'm buying an out of the money option with a straight price higher than the one that I sold. So I collected $2.34 credit. I have two contracts so that is $2.34 times 2 times 100 is 468 dollars so 468 dollars is the maximum profit for this trade assuming that I hold it all the way until expiration at 1 p.m. today and assuming that the SPX stays below my short strike of 27.75 and this is interesting because it is now rising let's look at the charts again okay this is not fun so right now it is rising so the trade is essentially going against me and that's why I currently have a little paper loss on the trade. So let's do a quick analysis of this trade. This vertical means that I'm going to receive limited profits and I'm going to have limited losses in case something goes wrong. So in order for me to make the $468 on this trade, the SPX has to stay below $27.75. Obviously, I want it to close below $27.75 at expiration. If that happens, both of the premiums of these call options will go down to zero and they will exp uh, expire worthless and I'll get to keep 100% of my initial credit. On the other hand, if SPX shoots up and closes above 2790, this is going to be a losing trade. And how much money am I going to lose? I'm going to lose the difference between the two strikes 2790 minus 2775 times 2 times 100. So let's do that math again. It's the difference between the two strikes 2790 minus 2775. That equals $15. So we would say that this spread is $15 wide. I've got two contracts times 2 times 100. So my maximum loss is $3,000 if SPX closes above $2790. And you would see the BP effect of $3,000 right here. This means that this trade will require $3,000 of capital or margin. That's it. $3,000 is the maximum loss for this trade no matter how high SPX goes at expiration. 
So right now it's PX is still climbing and it is getting dangerously close to my short strike. So I need to keep an eye on this thing. Obviously some kind of news got announced and all the bulls are coming back in and pushing this higher. So this is not good for the trade. And so I'm going to keep an eye on this and make sure that I close out of this trade when I have a profit because I am not in the mood to lose three thousand dollars just like that let's look at the intraday charts again and it is now 11:52 a.m. Pacific so about two hours have passed since I placed the trade I placed a trade at 9.46 a.m. and that was right around there and for a little while the trade was going against me and then it started dropping which is good then went back up and now it's dropping again so right now there's about let's see 11.53 this option expires at 1 p.m. so I've got another hour and five minutes left my strike price on the short call was 2775 which is right around there so right now the trade is looking a lot better than it was back here so right now I can buy back my short call for around 33 cents that means I can close out of this trade and take a profit of $408. I've got a little over an hour left, uh, about an hour and five minutes to be exact. So the question to you is, if you had this trade on, what would you do? There's still an hour and five minutes left. The trade had gone against you initially but now is doing better what would you do now you can buy back the short call for 30 cents and you can let the long call expire because you won't get anything for it you can walk away with a really nice profit at this point would you go ahead and close this trade or would you try to get a little more out of it if you said that you wanted to close a trade right now I would say go ahead nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with it always protect your profits and protect your money There's nothing wrong with making a profit the time is now 12.46 p.m. There is about 14 minutes left in the trading session. And it looks like my option is still pretty safe. My strike price is at 2.775. And at this point, it looks like I can buy back my short option for about five cents I hope I've got a nice profit so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna mess around anymore I'm gonna buy this back at five cents highlight the short leg only create closing order buy back and I'm gonna put in five cents I'm going to let the long options expire so my profit is 234 minus 5 is $458 successful trade thank you for watching